Good day, YouTubers, and welcome to another video with the Electrical Guide. Today, we're going to be showing you how to strip BX, or also referred to as AC90 cable. Now, one of the first things I want to point out is that the exterior of this cable is unlike the Romex styles and that it's hard metal. So we can't just use cutters to just cut it off or a knife. We have to use a hacksaw. So this, this exterior is actually wound in a bit of a candy cane style uh, throughout the length. So when we're breaking through, we need to make sure that we're breaking through on a 45 degree angle. If we are cutting like this on a 45, we'll break through the entire length of one of the links that's wrapped like a candy cane up this cable. If we cut at a 90 to the cable, we're actually just causing a bit of a slit. We're not actually breaking through the link as a whole. So I always recommend putting this down on a hard surface. I think it's a lot easier to control your hacksaw when you have a hard surface underneath, a piece of wood or the floor. Now your hacksaw blades are kind of pointing in one direction. So I think a lot of people find it easier if you drag your blade back a couple times to create a bit of a channel for you to cut in. Because if you start from scratch, it's difficult to be able to push forward and backwards without somewhere for the blade to sit. Once you get a channel, you can gently cut. Now, when you're doing this for the first time, especially if you're new at this, you want to inspect the part that you're cutting to make sure that you're not damaging the wires underneath. So we have just a little slight cut here. We haven't quite broken through yet, and, and that's good. We don't really want to cut right through and, and risk damaging what's underneath. So you'll want to inspect it while you're cutting. Just verify that it still looks good, still looks clean, you're not breaking through, and you can resume. see here that we're only just starting to break through here. Now when we want to strip this, we want to do so in a turning manner after the exterior has been cut ever so slightly. We don't want to bend like this, but we want to twist. So this hand is going to go this way and this hand is going to go that way. So you're putting them against each other and you're cracking in the direction opposite the way that these are spun. So you want to take a nice firm grip and you just want to twist and you should hear that crack. If you hear that crack and you know it's broken very nicely. Now you know that you did a fantastic job if the paper underneath has not been cut at all and you know that you went through the exterior just enough. Now when we cut BX we must always put an anti-short on the end to prevent the metal coming in contact with the insulated conductors underneath, which can cause damage. Now, I like to recommend putting it on over the paper. I think it's easier. So you see that there's an open end here. We snap it on over top, and you're just gonna kinda fight this guy down underneath with a bit of a spinning, rotating motion as you push. You're just gonna kind of push it down like that and you're gonna tear the paper away and you're gonna be left with an anti-short that's firmly seated nice and tight not coming out easily now keep in mind it might not be perfect all the way around because remember that this thing goes on a bit of an angle down so at one end you might be nice and tight but at the other end you might find that it's up just a little bit that's okay as long as it's firmly seated on the one side your tab sticking up, then you're good to go. Thanks for watching another video with the electrical guide. Please be sure to like and subscribe.